Hello guys, today we have some exciting news. The new Debian 12 was released yesterday. So let's take a quick quick at it. I already installed it on my main machine. But I'm gonna show you anyway just the installation in the VM that I prepared here. So let's go. For some people this is the best Debian release ever. So this should be pretty good, I hope. Graphical install. Okay, this should be quick and easy. English is the correct language. United States, American English, okay. Loading additional components. I don't think the installer is changed a lot, except they finally decided to add the non free repo which is a good for me, maybe not for everyone, but for me it's a pretty good idea. It was due for uh, about time. Okay, host name. Let's say VB Debian. If I ever need to SSH in this. Okay, don't need name, we don't need that. Root password, we don't need that name for the new user again VB Debian okay strong and really complicated password Eastern time use the entire disk okay this is a VM so definitely use the entire disk all files in one partition is the recommended. Okay, finishing. Write the changes to the disk. Sure. And now installing the base system. This shouldn't take too long. Couple of minutes, maybe. I hope. Alright, it goes pretty quickly. I like that. Installation media, no thank you. Debian archive, okay. United States, okay. We don't need proxy. Configuring apt. participate in the package usage survey well this is a VM so no don't do that select and install software okay now let's just go with the KDE and nothing else even the standard system utilities let's see okay continue It 
it's gonna install 1700 packages it is about 3 or 4 minutes remaining let's see about that Or I might just pause the video and come back when this is done. Let's do that. Okay, the install should be done or almost done. That actually took a few minutes. Okay, install it. Grub bootloader, that should be good. On the primary drive, yes I do. Enter device manually, okay. We are almost ready. Alright, the installation is complete, so it's time to boot into your new system. You choose continue to reboot, let's do that. Oops. Let's take the disk out, remove and let's try again. This should be our new system. Plasma Wayland, finally. Let's log in. All right, we are there. Let me just quick fix the resolution. Twenty by ten eighty. Okay, this should remember it for the next time. Okay, this is our new Debian. I chose the KDE as you remember, and this is the latest version actually of KDE, which is five point twenty seven point five. It's pretty good. I think the kernel it's not that recent but it's still pretty good it should be 6.1 let's see yes 6.1 kernel which is pretty good for Debian usually goes so behind okay the very first thing I like to do after fresh install is of course update the system you can do that through the terminal I'll show you following the commands I'll make sure I'll leave 
everything I use in this video in the description below so don't worry about it okay the system is already updated the other way is through the graphical software center in my case discover just go to the bottom up to date if there's any updates it's gonna be showing up here if you want you can just refresh and still no updates and the next thing I like to do is installing the NVIDIA driver and again you can do this through the terminal with the following command and as you can see mine it's already installed I'm gonna show you how to install it with the Synaptic Package Manager which is maybe easier for you just look for the Synaptic put down your password and with the search put down NVIDIA there are so many packages you should find it right here somewhere Come on. There you go. This is the package you need. Just select it, apply, wait for the install to finish, and that's it. Pretty easy. Next in my list is installing and enabling the Flat Hub and Flat Pack for better and newer packages on Debian. In this we're gonna use first the console. Open your terminal, put down the following command which is sudo apt install flatpak, hit enter, put down your password, wait for it to install and that's it pretty easy and if you are like me on KDE I'm gonna show you how to do it with the discover software center which is even easier go to the settings on the bottom see the discover flat pack backend just press install again password wait for it to finish and close it now reopen it again to the settings and see this at flat hub button just press it password again and you should be ready to go with discover and flat pack If you are using GNOME, I'm gonna show you how to do it with the command line. Just navigate to the flat pack or flat hub repository site and follow the commands. All you need is just copy and paste this first one, install the GNOME software plugin. the Flatpak remote repository to the GNOME software center just copy it and paste it in the terminal hit enter wait for it to finish and that's it pretty easy all right next in the list is clean up remove all the software I don't want I don't need see how much stuff Debian KDE comes with 
all this I don't know I'm not gonna use the PIM software that comes with the KD suite I don't need any of those so I'm gonna remove them I don't like the dragon player and knows this juke or whatever the right pronunciation is so let's remove all this I'm gonna use the purge command I'm gonna start with removing all the libre office first Don't worry, if I remember, I'm gonna put all the commands I'm using in this video in the description down below. So you can just navigate and use whatever you need to use. Okay, just hit that. I thought it's gonna be easier, huh? Oh man, if I only can type correctly, that would be cool. Just removed everything. Later on, I'm gonna install the only office. I prefer only Office because, well, it's closer to Windows and I'm kinda stuck at work with Windows, which is unfortunate. Okay, another package I definitely want to uninstall is the KD PIM suite or whatever it's called. So, again, I'm gonna use the purge command. See how many packages that is. Just hit enter, wait for the removal to finish. I strongly recommend to use the sudo apt auto remove later when it's finished. See how many packages are not used anymore. They just need to be removed. Okay, what else I don't need? Oh, the Conqueror, the Dragon Player. I think that's almost all of it. Again, sudo apt perch. Conqueror, Dragon Player, and Chuck. And once again, I'll remove the not needed packages. And that's all for now. Okay, the next in my list is start installing software I need. I'm gonna use all the fat packs for this one except I'm gonna install the VLC and MPV packages for video players that I really like. Those are the Debian in repository which is pretty pretty good. Uh, just sudo apt install VLC MPV just hit enter and Wait for the install to finish again. It should be pretty quick. No, 
All right. Uh, we start installing all the software I need from the flat pack. I'm gonna show just a couple of maybe two of the packages I'm gonna install because this video will <laughs> get too long by now I think. So let's search for let's say KD and wife. Open it. You can just install it from here, but I like to copy the oops. Come on. Don't be like that. Just copy it, paste it in the terminal, hit enter. Yes. Yes again. This is a pretty lengthy install, but shouldn't take too long. Okay, and it's finally done. So let's look for a couple more packages like, let's say, Steam. And again, navigate to the bottom, copy the command, paste it. Yes, yes, install it. You can also search for the Flatpak versions in the Discover. If you remember, we already add the Flatpak and the Flathub repository, so you can use that. I just prefer to use the Flathub site. Let's see where KDE in life is. It's already here and installed. It's gonna take a few more seconds to load. Almost done with the steam. All right. And I think you get the idea. Just look for the software you need. Copy the command. Paste it, wait for the install to finish, and that's it. I'm not gonna bother you with all the software uh, and watching me, well, watching me installing all the software I need because it's gonna take forever. Well, not forever, but long enough. And let's go to the next step of the video. Now, next thing in my list, it's not unnecessary, it's just usually what I like to do because well I do some gaming from time to time and I need the wine staging so the next thing in my list will be installing the wine staging package and I'm doing this from the official wine HQ website just follow copy all the commands and you should be good to go uh, if I don't forget I'm gonna leave again all the commands I'm using in the description down below. So let's copy the first one. Okay, make the directory, download the keyring. Oh, are you serious? Okay, I guess we need to install double we get. What? Okay, synaptic. Are you serious? Even synaptic, it's not installed? Let's install it then.
Well, I did not expect that, <laughs> to be honest. Let's try again. Synaptic, put down the password. No, I don't want to show this all the time. Let's look for wget. package we need, mark for installation, apply ok it is done now we should be good to go now we are talking ok get the other sources for Debian 12 the system I like the wine staging if you like something else go ahead and install it also while this is installing you can just install the regular wine version that should work too but for me, I just used to and I really like the wine staging package. Plus all the gaming software I'm using like Steam and Lutris mainly, they already using their own Proton version or wine version. So shouldn't matter that much. And that's a lot of packages. Be patient. Almost there. All right. Just update it real quick, just in case. No errors, no problems. This is fine. And now the last thing I'm going to show you today, it's of course team it and customize a little. So I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to customize your own system and team it. I just want to show a little quick what I really like. So the first thing is I just gonna pick up a couple of really good teams well for me. The first one I really like is Mirage. Yes. And the sweet team the one with the blur okay those two should be pretty good for now wait for it to install while we wait I really like my bar to be on the top oops so right click edit drag to move it I like my bar to be in the floating panel mode. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay. The installation of the teams are done. Just click it. If you want to use the desktop and window layout, you can click that, but I don't really like to do now. Alright, that already looking much better. I'm just gonna change 
the icon team and the one I really like right now it's the fluent icon team and it should be somewhere here I believe yeah that's it just the regular one all right picked up apply and I'm gonna change the cursor team to the sweet cursors and that's it the only thing I really like to do is changing the wallpaper I'm gonna use something I start using pretty recently I'm gonna get the new plugin I think it's called low haven yeah that's the one we're gonna install that but that was pretty quick select it here uh, landscape and mountains okay all right this is exactly what I really like to do okay guys so this is mostly what I really like to do when I first installed the Debian it's not it's it's not that complicated you can use the console now you can use the GUI if you want but before I go let me let me show you a little quick because I still learning bash scripting I was playing today and yesterday and I did my own Debian install that it's gonna help you with everything we did right now so if you go to the my github page download the bash script I'm gonna show you you just have to extract it open it and this is the bash script I, I be, I'll be working on every all you have to do is just uh, where is it open terminal here all you have to do is just change mod plus x to make it executable or you can use the GUI like I said just right click go on properties go on permission and this needs to be checked is executable in order to run the script so let's run it and see what's there so before everything starts I really like to warn you please back up all your data before you run the script so put down your password and it should start cleaning up some stuff it's already installed as you can see but if you run the script for first time and you have not installed anything yet you're gonna see what are packages installing now here is the little interesting part if you are like me and using the NVIDIA driver you have the options to say yes or no I'm on the VM right now so I'm gonna say no we're gonna install everything else we're gonna remove the packages we don't really like and we don't really need we're gonna go and install everything we need from the flat pack like for example right now it's installing the Firefox which is the latest version right now Debian ships with the ESR version which is pretty behind I think what version it is yes it's 102 I think the latest version of Firefox is 115, 114, something like that. So 13, 13, 14, I don't know how many versions behind. But if it works for you, it works for you. You don't have to do anything. It's installing the only office and now if you are a little gamer like me like we talked about 
just before. If you want to install the Align staging for gaming, you just can press yes or no. We already installed it, so I'm gonna press no. It's asking you if you want to install the Steam and Lutris. No. We're gonna finish with the installing extra packages from the flat pack and that's it. I'm gonna leave it here to finish doing whatever it's doing and I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the video here so let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what you guys really like to do after fresh install. Not only Debian, every other distro you do. So thanks for spending some time with me and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!